And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, Rum and Bones is a game that I really enjoy. A game in which two players have pirate armies that are attacking each other with heroes. Uh, it's, it's a unique system and it's a lot of fun with some fantastic miniatures. There are six mini expansions for this game. We're going to take a look at three of them today. These are the hero sets for the Wellsport Brotherhood, the Bone Devils, and I can't pronounce this one, so I'm just going to call them the French Faction. So there are three heroes in each of these. You can replace the original heroes. So let's take a look at these. I'll kind of refer to the original heroes too, and then we'll be back. So let's get started with the Wellsport faction. First we have Bloody Ann Bonnie, who has interesting Savage Strike, which essentially is like a vampiric type thing where when she hits somebody, she can remove damage from herself. And she can move before making an attack and she can make someone blind or bleed. Is she better than Captain Daniel Pale? I'm not sure, I think I like him better than her, but she's a different character. Then we have Theo, the Terror of Nova. Uh, I do like him. His, his main attack, you can do plus one zone or plus one to hit. Um, he's pretty good, probably better than Miss Mag's, although I really do like Miss Mag's second wind. Then we have Grace O'Malley. Uh, she has double shot, which is useful. It hits heroes, and here she can target heroes. If two or more hits, they'll do two extra damage. The best thing she has is this long kiss goodnight. This is a pretty neat thing where... She can hit a hero, and if it hits the hero, she KOs a hero. It's one die. So it's a one chance, and it's minus one if they're far away. But I just really enjoy this. The problem is, her, the person that I would put instead of her would be Blackout Bard, who's one of my favorite characters in the game at this point in time, especially with his Grease Lightning Barrage. That one would be a hard pick for me to go through. All right, so now we're moving on to the Bone Devils. We have Captain Dracula. Now, he has the... A vampiric thing where when he attacks somebody he removes three damage that makes more sense because he's captain dracula and you can move him around and slow in silence is he better than albrecht um I'll, it was a toss-up for me i would use either one of those uh then we have renfeld the blood crazed this guy here again has that every five or six rolled remove a damage not as good as the captain um and he can cause people to bleed is he better than specter from the original game hmm I don't know. I think I like Spectre slightly better. And then we have Daedalus here, the Soul Herald. Uh, this guy here, when he rolls a six with attacking, this is a powerful attack to begin with. Uh, four dice, four pluses to hit, and for each six, a deck hand comes up. That's a really neat attack. I like that one a lot. He can move heroes, pull them to himself. Um, here he can pick a zone and all deck hands and bossons in that zone activate and heroes can make one free move very useful and i think i do like him better than the original patchwork porter that was in the game all right now we are to the french faction here we have a new captain now this captain here i love his model captain francois he's just a big fat guy looks like this would be fun to paint even though i'm not much of a painter uh i like his heart eater ability here if he ko's a hero all deployed enemy heroes lose all their money. So if this guy knocks them out, you really can damage your opponent. Also, he can blind, slow, and stun people. So he's useful. Again, I'm not sure if I'd pick him over the original captain, but he's a nice alternative. Then we have here Manolas Defarg. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Who's wearing some gigantic pantaloons. Um, I... This is a character, this is the one character in this set that I think I do not like at all. And the reason for that is she's all about hurting yourself to hurt other people. Like a friendly hero takes four damage, but their attacks get plus one die or plus one hit. Or a friendly hero gets rid of all damage, but then they're blind and stunned. Eh, I don't know. I'd rather use Gaston. And then we have Vivian the Sea Fox here, who... Here, basically attacks other heroes. I do like that she gets a free attack, paying all the cost after she successfully rigs, so she can do that and take another attack. But again, I think I like the Monte Cristo better. Either way, there is a lot. A real quick look at all the models 
that come in these sets. I've already showed you a couple of them. This shows the rest of them. These here are the models. Cool Manier Not, of course, does great quality with the models. And they're, you know, they look good with colors, but obviously you're probably going to want to paint them and make them look better. Now you don't need to get these heroes, right? The original game's fine. Do you want more heroes? That says, I like having these heroes if just for a reason. Hey, I have five heroes and three of the different heroes I can interchange back and forth and use those. Um, it is interesting that they didn't replace all five heroes, but I guess time goes by. And if you look at part two of this series, you'll see that the mercenaries are there, so you really can interchange all the heroes if you want to. Uh, I think the Bone Devils are my favorite. They're my favorite faction anyway. Uh, well, maybe my second favorite faction. I, I like the, the other... But, but anyhow, I, li I think the Bone Devils have the best new heroes. I do like that the new heroes don't have this power creep. They're not better than the original heroes. They're just different, and you can mix and match. Maybe you don't like some of the models. Maybe you like the way a, different, a certain character looks. So this is not necessary if you own the game by any means, but it certainly is a fun addition. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop. Boop.